The Break Apart Strategy to Add, Lesson 1.6. There are many strategies to add three-digit numbers like 355 plus 414. We can use mental math. We can add by place value and regrouping, add by estimating, or we can use the Break Apart Strategy. The Break Apart Strategy is one of the strategies we used in video 1.4 to do mental math. We break apart each addend into their expanded form. 355 is equal to 300 plus 50 plus 5. First thing we do is we estimate the sum to make sure our answer is reasonable. Then we break apart the addends, put them into their expanded form, Third, we add starting with the largest place value. So for adding hundreds and tens and ones, we start by adding the hundreds. And last, we add the sums of each place value. To add 355 plus 414, we estimate. This 5 is going to tell the 3 to go up to a 4, and then they become zeros. So that's 400. The 414, the 1 tells the 4 to stay the same, so that's a 400. So our estimate is 400 plus 400, that's 800. We use the break part strategy, and we have 300 plus 50 plus 5, and we have 400 plus 10 plus 4. We start by adding the hundreds, that's 700. We add the tens, 50 and 10 is 60. We add the ones, 5 and 4 is 9. We add the 700, the 60, and the 9 to get 769. We add the sums of the place values. See? And this is a great way to add doing mental math. You can add these numbers in your head if you start with the largest place value. So let's try that again. We want to add 354 plus 348. Our estimate would be for rounding to the hundreds, the 5 is going to tell the 3 to go up to a 4, and turns into 0, so that is a 400. This 4 tells the 3 to stay the same, and they turn into 0, so that's 300. So our estimate is about 700. We use expanded form. 354 is equal to 300 plus 50 plus 4. 348 is equal to 300 plus 40 plus 8. We add the hundreds, that's 600. We add the tens, 50 plus 40 is 90. We add the ones, there's 12 ones. We put these together, and 90 plus 12 is 102, so we have 600 plus 102, that gives us 702. And 700 was a reasonable estimate for our sum, 702. When we added the ones place, we had an extra 10 because we had 12 ones. So we gave that 10 to the tens column. See? We gave that to the hundreds column, and that's how we got 702. Now in our next lesson, we're going to talk about doing this more with the regrouping. So stick with me. Okay, we have one last example. We're going to add 592 plus 189. This 9 tells the 5 to go up to a 6 when we round it to the nearest 100. Then the 9 and the 2 become zeros. So that's about 600 rounded to the nearest 100. 189, 189, the 8 tells the 1 to go up to a 2. Then the 8 and the 9 become zeros. So that rounds to 200. So our estimate is about 800. We know when we add these, it's going to be about 800. So we can write it in expanded form as 500 plus 90 plus 2. We can write this one as 100 plus 80 plus 9. We start by adding the largest place value. 500 plus 100 is 600. 90 plus 80 is 170. And 2 plus 9 is 11. So we can give a 10 to the tens column. We can also give this 100 to the hundreds column, couldn't we? When we add 600 plus 170 plus 11, 
we get 781. And 800 was a reasonable estimate for 781 because 781 is almost 800. Now we can do some problem solving. Look at this table we have here. It says number of students, school, and then the number. So this table is telling us for these schools, these are the number of students they have. So which two schools together have fewer than 500 students? So which two of these schools added together would have less than 500 students? We can see how many students they have here. We need to estimate the sums of two schools to find the answer. So we'll take Jefferson and Kennedy. Jefferson rounds to about 300 because this three tens tells that three to stay the same. Kennedy has about 200. This four tells the two to stay the same. So that's about 500. But look, it's more than 200 and more than 300. So that's gonna be more than 500. If we compare Jefferson and Monroe's total, Jefferson and Monroe, this rounds to 300, this rounds to 200, which is about 500. But this is more than 300 and that's more than 200, so it's gonna be more than 500. We're looking for fewer than 500. If we do Kennedy and Monroe, Kennedy rounds to 200, Monroe rounds to 200, that's about 400. And if we add four tens and three tens, that's still not going to give us another 100 to make it more than 500. So the answer would be Kennedy and Monroe. We could also actually add these real numbers, 245 plus 231 or 337 plus 245. But this lesson's trying to teach you estimating and breaking apart. As I said before, we're gonna talk about doing actual three-digit addition in our next lesson. Okay, we have another problem-solving example. Bob has 20 marbles. Dave has more than double the number of marbles that Bob has. What is the least number of marbles that Dave can have? So it's telling us that Bob has 20 marbles, but Dave has more than double. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what it's asking of us. It wants the smallest number of marbles that Dave can have, but still have more than double. So what we do is we find out what double is. Double would be 20 marbles plus 20 marbles. That would be 40 marbles. But he's got more than double. So to have more than double, Dave must have at least one more than double. That means the least he can have would be 41 marbles and still have more than double. See? Now let's try that same type of problem with some bigger numbers. So we had our table and it told us which school had how many students. And this problem says Franklin School. Well, that's not even listed, so that's a completely different school. That's another school. It says Franklin School has more than double the number of students that are in Monroe School. What is the least number of students that Franklin School can have? Well, if Monroe School has 231, double 231 would be 231 plus 231. That would be 1 plus 1 is 2, 3 plus 3 is 6, 2 plus 2 is 4. We could also do 200 plus 30 plus 1 plus 200 plus 30 plus 1, couldn't we? We could do it in expanded form. We would still get 462 students that would be double the amount of Monroe School. But Franklin School has more than double. So to be more than double, the least number of students would be one more than that double. We need to find what is the least number of students that Franklin School can have and still be more than double. So double is 462. We would add one more and have 463. 
That would be more than double. Okay, let's try this one. Is the sum of 330 plus 195 less than or greater than 500? Well, look at these numbers. 195 needs five more, doesn't it, to be 200? And if we took five from the 330 and gave it to the 195, then the 195 would be 200 and the 330 would be 325. It would be five less. See? We took five away from here and gave it to this one to make it a 200. Now that one's five less. Then we would have 200 plus 325. We could do that easily in our head and we can see that it would be greater than 500. So the answer is 330 plus 195 is greater than 500 because this 25 would be left over, wouldn't it? So there's many ways to solve a particular problem in life and there's many ways and strategies to add numbers. One of them is breaking the place values apart into hundreds, tens, and ones, and then adding the sum of the place values. And we've learned that we can use mental math or estimating. We can even use place value and regrouping. And that's what we're going to talk about in our next lesson. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.